update, and there's not really much to update. Basically, we have hit these two time blocks that are could have a confluence together. This is a stronger one, um, right from any price in time from above this 8900 and on you should see a rejection down stronger and uh, it did have the first one that were went under 8,000 that's great but then held this area and then bounced all the way back up to just under the 8900 and now it's meandering around in the mid um, 8,000 range but it's not showing any real signs of cracking back down we have to see it break under here and all the way under here in the, the mid 7,000 range before we can start to see a stronger push. And it, so far it's not doing that. It's not showing any evidence of uh, any interest. Um, I do see larger, you know, bigger uh, accounts selling. Um, once prices do break, like under that 8,000 again, I think you'll get the follow on and the panic or you know the emotional traders into it. But we are in this dark zone of these two cell blocks in time. You got this one that goes out until like uh, the 6th of June and then you have another one that goes out until the 13th of June. So these two should keep it in bounds and, and prices lower overall in time. So that's good as far as time goes. But again. That type of uh, uh, algo analysis is kind of um, uh, sketchy at best when it comes to Bitcoin because Bitcoin doesn't work like institutional algorithms that are macro based and, and uh, have a better um, effect. It's the only way to put it. Uh, Bitcoin is more of an emotional market and very news driven and. Uh, uh, you know, so we would probably need some kind of story to come out, and if some story comes out and can, you know, coincides coincides with this, um, that would be great. We'll see if that occurs. It'll be interesting if nothing else. Um, but we're not doing anything. We're just waiting. We're going to be waiting for this all the way down here. This is what we care about. This is our target area in the mid to low five thousand range. That's going to be very key. And then we'll go from there. Um, other than that, we'll just let it dance around, pull back. If it does get the big shift downward, um, it could be pretty rapid, you know, once it loses like a level over here. But we can't predict that yet. Um, it's showing signs of weakness, but uh, we need to, to see the actual uh, move that's uh, to occur. Other than that, very boring, nothing interesting, um, and I will talk to you guys later in the week, and hopefully we'll get a move soon. <laughs> All right.